11.1. We followed our dream. My wife and I always wanted to live abroad, but Miriam and I both work in the UK. She's a doctor, and I'm a designer, and we have two small children, Sasha and Elena. Then an American university, Duke in Durham, North Carolina, asked Miriam to go and work there for a year. At first, we weren't sure what to do. There were so many questions. What about Sasha's school? What do we do with our house? But finally, we decided to go. Eleven point two. One. We rented a house near the university. Two. We booked our flights. It was a long trip. Three. We invited our friends to a restaurant to say goodbye. Four. We packed seven heavy suitcases. Five. The children didn't want to sleep on the plane. Sasha played with toys, and Elena looked at books. Six. When we arrived in North Carolina, we were very tired. Eleven point four. Dog. D. We arrived in North Carolina. Sasha played with toys. Tie. T. We booked our flights. Elena looked at books. We packed seven heavy suitcases. Id. We rented a house near the university. We invited our friends to a restaurant. Eleven point five. One. We rented a house near the university. Two. We booked our flights. It was a long trip. Three. We invited our friends to a restaurant to say goodbye. Four. We packed seven heavy suitcases. Five. The children didn't want to sleep on the plane. Sasha played with toys, and Elena looked at books. Six. When we arrived in North Carolina, we were very tired. Eleven point six. At first, living in the U.S. was very difficult. We missed our friends and family, and we didn't like the food. It was difficult to find good chocolate. We also needed to rent a car. In London, we don't drive, but in Durham, not many people walk or use public transportation. But we soon started to enjoy it. Our house was nice and near a big park. Sasha liked his school, especially his music teacher who played the trumpet. He worked hard, and his teachers were very happy with him. Eleven point seven. Miriam really liked her job. It was very interesting. I worked from home, so I was with the children a lot, and I loved it. In general, life was good. It was cheap, cheaper than in the UK. We joined a sports club where the children learned to swim, and I played a lot of tennis, one of my favourite sports. The people in Durham were very friendly. They often invited us to their homes. It was easy to meet people at the sports club or at the university where Miriam worked, and there were so many new places to see. On weekends, we visited some of the beautiful national parks. They were very different from English parks. In one park, there was a sign saying, "Don't disturb the snakes." Sasha loved it. I also remember a trip to a country music festival at a blueberry farm. It was fantastic. First, we listened to the music, and then we picked a lot of blueberries. They're Elena's favorite fruit. But after that trip, she didn't want to eat a blueberry for at least two weeks. 
we stayed in Durham for a year. After that, we returned to England because my wife's job finished. But we loved our life in the US, and we're thinking of going back there in maybe two or three years. 11.9 1. Get a flight. Get a taxi. Get up early. 2. Go to bed. Go home. Go out. Go to school. 3. Have breakfast. Have a coffee. Have dinner. Have lunch. Have a nice day. Have a soda. 4. Do homework. Do housework. Do yoga. 11.10 Hi, I'm back. Linda, what are you doing at home? Hi, Dad. You're really early. Yes, I got an early flight. Uh, how was your day? My day was fine. But what about your day? Why aren't you at school? We didn't have classes today. We went to the American Museum of Natural History in the morning. It was great. And then we had lunch in the cafe there. Why didn't you go to school this afternoon? We had a free afternoon. I stayed at home. What did you do? I did my homework. I had a lot of work. Good girl. When are your exams? They're next week. Where's your mother? She went out. I think she went shopping. What's that? What? That noise. 11.11 .11. And who are you? Um, Dad, this is Dylan. What are you doing here, Dylan? Well, uh, you see, Linda and I wanted to do our homework together. Oh, did you? And what kind of homework was it, exactly? 11.12 .12. I got an early flight. We went to the American Museum of Natural History. We had lunch in the cafe. I did my homework. 11.14 What time did you get up? I got up at 7.30. Did you have breakfast? Yes, I did. What did you have? I had toast and coffee. What did you do then? I went to work. 11.15 Life in a day. Early in the morning in the U.S., a baby opened his eyes and looked at his mother. Isn't he pretty? She asked the camera. Around the world, people got up and washed and had breakfast. A 15-year-old boy shaved for the first time. He didn't enjoy it. A small boy kissed his mother on her birthday. July 24th was a Saturday so a lot of people didn't go to work. They relaxed and went to the park with their family or went shopping. But other people worked hard or cooked and cleaned. Some children played, but others worked. One small boy cleaned shoes on the street. One woman went to the hospital for an operation. 
Another woman waited all evening to talk to her husband on Skype. He was a soldier thousands of miles from home. For some people, July 24th was a special day. A man arrived in Kathmandu. He was on a bicycle trip around the world. A woman did an incredible skydive. An unemployed man got his first job. A boy who was in college went home to see his father for the first time in three years. Another man asked his girlfriend to marry him. A man and a woman got married and had an incredible party. This beautiful movie shows us life around the world in the 21st century. Watch it. It's free on YouTube. 11.17 1. Next to 2. Across from 3. Between 4. On the corner 5. On the left 6. On the right 11.18 1. Excuse me? Yes? Is there a coffee shop near here? Yes, there's one on South Street. It's next to the movie theater on the right. Thanks. 2. Excuse me, is there a Chinese restaurant near here? Yes, there's one on King Street, between the bank and the gym. Thank you. 3. Excuse me, is there a phone store near here? Yes, there's one on North Street, next to the hotel, on the left. Thanks. 4. Excuse me, where's the park? It's on Boston Road, across from the gym. Oh, great. Thank you. 11.19 Excuse me, is there a bank near here? Yes, there's one on the corner of King Street and East Road. 11.20 Thank you. 11.20. 1. C. Go straight ahead. 2. A. Turn right. 3. B. Turn left. 11.21. Excuse me, is there a cash machine near here? Yes, there's one at Barclays Bank. Sorry, where is that? Turn left and go straight on. Then turn right and it's on the right. Thanks very much. You're welcome. 11.22 Oh, I don't believe it. Excuse me, this cash machine isn't working. Is there another one near here? Yeah, there's one in HSBC. Go straight on, turn right, go straight on for a bit, and it's on the left. Thanks. 11.23 Hello? Hi, Jennifer? Yes. 
This is Rob Walker from London 24-7. I'm phoning to check you got the email I sent you. Uh, what was it about? It was the information about your hotel for next week. Just a second. Yes, here it is. Hotel Indigo, London Street. Where is it exactly? It's very near Paddington Station. You can get the Heathrow Express train from the airport to the station. It only takes about 15 minutes. Okay, that's great. Can I walk to the hotel from the station? Yes, it's very near. Can you see it on the map? Ah, uh, yes. I have it now. Turn left when you leave the station. Then go straight on for a bit and turn right into London Street. The hotel's opposite Norfolk Square. Great. I can come to the hotel in the morning on your first day. We can walk to the office together. Okay. See you then. Bye. Bye. Eleven point twenty four. Is there a cash machine near here? Thanks very much. You're welcome. I don't believe it. Excuse me, this cash machine isn't working. It only takes about 15 minutes. Turn left when you leave the station. End of CD4